Hello friends and welcome to YouTube channel Techie Jack. Continuing our previous video of Exchange Server 2016, in this video we are going to create user mailboxes and we will look on the properties of user mailboxes that what feature we have with the mailboxes. We will create the distribution list for our Exchange users and we will see some more settings of Exchange Server 2016. So let's get started. right now I'm on a exchange server and let's have a look on our Active Directory users so this is a domain name like techiejack.com and if I expand it I have an organization unit by the name of company users and I have a three user inside it Peter Robin Smith and techiejack I also have another organization unit by the name of sales and I have two user as a Lisha and Raj inside the sales organization unit and I have also created a new sales group so let's create a new uh, user inside the sales organization unit and we will create this user from the exchange admin center and we'll assign a mailbox to it as well so let's go to the exchange admin center and let's sign in right now only the administrator has a mailbox that is by default and none of the user in our active directory have provided the mailboxes so let's go and create a new mailbox from here that means a new user will be created if you create a new mailbox from exchange admin center that means a new user will also be created so right now if you see we don't have we are going to create a user by the name of Laura William and you can see inside the sales organization there is no Laura William here so let's create a new mailbox user it's a user and the it's not an existing user it's a new user and the name of the user will be Laura and the last name will be like William and I'm going to put this Laura William inside the sales organization so I'll browse the organization unit and will select the sales organization unit and click on OK so this user will be inside the sales organization unit and the logon name you want the logon name to give like Laura dot William the logon name will be like Laura dot William at the rate techiejack.com and as it's a new user so we can define a password for it this user and you can see you have some more option here if you click on more option you have to choose the database for this mailbox so I'm going to choose a default mailbox database we have here I'll click on OK and if you want the uh, user to store its old mail in archive you can create on-premises archive mailbox for this user right now I'm not going to do this and even I'm not going to uh, check this box for required password change on next logon because if I will check this the user will be prompted for to uh, type a new password I'll put the alias name as Laura and we'll click on save now you can see the Laura William as a user has been created and if we go to the Active Directory right now you can see there is no Laura William inside it if I go and refresh it now we can see the user is also created while we create the mailbox and from the Exchange Admin Center so now let's create a new mailbox for existing user that is our Raj user and we'll create a new mailbox for that existing user we can just go and click on user mailbox we will have to assign a mailbox for this user you can click on browse 
and we'll select the Raj inside the sales team. We'll click on OK and it will unhighlight this option because uh, the user is already created inside the Active Directory. If you want to do with the more option, just choose the database. If you have a multiple database, you can put the user inside another one. Right now we have a one default, so we are going to put this in a default mailbox database and we'll click on save. So now Raj user is also assigned a mailbox. That means the existing user is now having the option of a mailbox with him and Laura William we have created a new mailbox user from the exchange admin center I hope you get to know how to create a mailbox for a existing user in Active Directory and a new user from exchange admin center let's go and have a look on Laura William mailbox in order to do that you have to just select the user and click on this pencil edit sign and a window will open and here you will see the general settings uh, the mainly the general settings are like first name, last name, initials, logon name, aliases and if you go to the more options here you will find the uh, organization unit for this user and the mailbox database inside which this mailbox is residing and if you want to put uh, some custom attributes for this user you can just go and click on this edit sign and you can put the custom attributes for this user and in our mailbox usage as the name appears that mailbox usage that how much email size is inside the mailbox like if you have a uh, 1 GB of email inside your mailbox it will show here how much size you are utilizing if you can see a uh, 60.92 kilobyte is used uh, right now from 2 GB and if I go and click on more option here what we can do we can increase and decrease the quota limits for our mailbox that means if you want to assign unlimited space for a mailbox to this user you can just do a customize the quota settings and select the unlimited option here and the user will be assigned as an unlimited quota limit that means there will be no limit of a quota and it will be unlimited if you want to prohibit the send limit you can set the send limit here by default it is a 2 GB that means once the uh, mailbox size grows up to 2 GB that means the user will not be able to send the mail and the warning will be appear once the mailbox size is 1.9 GB that means the warning will come at 1.9 GB and if it if he or she do not delete the emails and it grows up to a 2 GB that means he will not be able to send the emails and if the email goes grows up to 2.3 GB that means he will not able to receive the email as well if I move down this is a by default uh, retention period like uh, keep deleted item for 14 days that means exchange server will uh, keep the deleted email for 14 days if you want to increase or decrease this period uh, retention period you can just customize the retention period and you can uh, put the value uh, according to you like how many days you want to keep you want to keep it for 30 days you want to keep it for 7 days you can just put the value here and if you want not to delete the email permanently until we have taken the backup of our exchange server database so you can just click this one and you can click the option like don't permanently delete this item until the database is backed up so right now I am keeping it as a default settings let's move to the contact information now here you have a contact information like city state province country work phone number and we have some more uh, fields here like fax home phone number or web pages at the right side you can see the title office work phone is not there if you fill this form the information will be appeared here let's move to the organization here you can see the title department and company like uh, this user uh, belongs to a sales group sales department I will just type the sales and the company name will be like Techie Jack 
and the manager to whom it's reporting you can just select the ma uh, manager from the browse feature right now we have only three uh, user there I'll give a uh, administrator as a manager now you can see we have a department there company and administrator as a manager email address is your uh, like default you can add some more email address to this particular uh, mailbox but right now the default email address is laura at techiejack.com so somebody uh, will sending email to this laura at techiejack.com that means this mailbox will be receiving that email for that now we go to the uh, mailbox feature uh, mailbox feature has something to do with the like uh, sharing policy like default sharing policy how you want to share your calendars contact with other user or uh, the user from the outside your organization and the rule assignment for this policy like if you want uh, these policies to be configured these policies needs to be configured uh, prior to apply because if you have a configured address book policy you will see that policy in a drop down and you can select that policy for the address book policy retention policy if you have configured a new retention policy like you want uh, your mail to be not to be deleted for 60 days you can apply that retention policy here let's go with the member of like uh, the group membership like if this user belongs to any group like it's belong to a sales group you will see uh, the sales group here now mail delegation mail delegation means like if, if you want to delegate this email address to someone else you have a three kind of a permission like send as sent on behalf and a full access if you give a full access that means uh, another user will have a full access to this mailbox and he can receive and send emails for this mailbox and if you give the permission send on behalf that means the other user can send email on behalf of this email address and if you give the permission as a send as like if I give a send as permission to Raj user to, then the Raj will be able to send a, send the email as a Laura William now let's go and try to create a distribution group so uh, in order to do that we have to go to the groups and you can click on plus sign and you will see the three option like distribution group security group and dynamic distribution group you can click on distribution group and here the display name uh, I'll give the display name as a sales team members and the alias will be like sales team and this will be the email address like sales team at techiejack.com and if someone will send a email to that that email will be received by this distribution group members so the organization unit for this uh, distribution group is sales and the owner like if you want to uh, grant a permission to a owner uh, like another user the, right now the administrator is there and if you want to make uh, any other user as a owner of this distribution group you can select the user and click on OK and that user can manage this group that means he will be able to accept or re reject the permission to allow or disallow the user to join this group so right now administrator is fine with me and the members like add group owner as a member that is checked and uh, that is checked by default if you want to uncheck it that means the owner group owner will not be the member of uh, this group and by default it is checked like add the group owners as a member that means the group owner all the owners of the group will be a member of this distribution group so right now I am just adding our two users like our sales uh, department user I will click on add we have a two users like Laura William and Raj as a sales department user so I will go and click on Raj will click on add click on Laura and we'll click on add you can select the multiple users and you can hit on OK now the members are added and now if you see here that uh, choose whether owner approval is required to join this group that means if you select 
the open option that means anyone can join this group without being approved by the group owners that means anyone can join this group if it is an open group and if you select the uh, close option that means the members can be added only by the group owners that means a uh, group owner uh, will be responsible to add the members inside uh, this distribution group and if somebody try to uh, apply for the request to join the group that will be automatically rejected and if you choose the third option like owner approval all the requests are approved or rejected by the group uh, owner that means it's a kind of a manual way that all the requests will be approved by the owner and if they want to reject uh, they can reject it manually and if you see uh, the leave option like if somebody wants to leave uh, the group without notifying anyone you can choose the open option and open option means a, a user can leave a group without notifying to anyone and if you uh, choose a close uh, close option that means member can be removed by only the group owners that means all the requests uh, will be rejected automatically if somebody tries to leave the group I hope you have learned something from this session. Now you are able to create a mailbox for your Active Directory user. You can create a mailbox from Exchange Admin Center and you can also create a distribution group. And in our next video, we will create our security groups, we will create mail contacts and shared mailboxes. And after that, we will check the mail flow of our emails. So, guys, Please subscribe the channel for more coming update videos. Let's meet in a next video.